now that we created uh, the center line here in polylines, we will uh, try to fit some NURBS curve to this. There are two general ways. The first is using half automatic tools like fit curve here, which uh, does the job quite nicely if you have a um, good polyline. Here it gives you the possibility to use two manipulators to play or to adjust the start and the end of the curve. You have deviation and curvature here um, to see the shape of the NURBS curve um, and the deviation to the scan. If I'm if I'm while saying um, NURBS curve, um, I know that some people uh, make a big difference between NURBS and uh, Bézier curves. Actually, Bézier is a subset of NURBS, and if you uh, keep this number to one, so single span curve is actually a Bézier curve. So this is a clean Bézier curve. Degree two means order of three. Um, if I go to degree 3, you see it's, fit, it's fitting much better, but I actually would prefer to have at the, f the fewest number of points possible. So I go for, for 2 and maybe I um, extend this later manually. So one word to the marking menu I'm using here. Um, to get rid, for, for example, to get rid of my deviation of my measurement here, I needed to go to the menu, delete all delete all locators. That's a long way here for my mouse. If I do it all the time, it's much faster if you put it off him on your marking menu. And you see you can really fast access, access some, uh, some commands you use all the time. So I will use this all the time. So I switch off the CVs. And the second method I want to show you is the good old manual method. So um, maybe the curve goes from here to here. I will increase the degree to 2 and just manually eyeballing the shape of this curve. I will adjust this better later. Here the same if I see this shape. I will have a tiny curve here as well. Use the look at to zoom in a bit better and move it to here maybe. And you see it's not fitting perfectly but I don't don't worry uh, for now. So for the curve I made here, I need a blend curve, which does the job quite well. And we have these little guys called blend points and blend curves. And I can put some properties or constraints to this. For instance, uh, being uh, tangent continuous or curvature continuous, even G3, make sure if you use G3 that you put the, the number of uh, degree the degree to 7 instead of 5 otherwise it will produce spans which is not desirable so I can change the position later this is a proper method I will use a, another one uh, because we have history and alias which is a great help so the curvature comb I will switch on here and you see immediately this is not not really far away from being perfect so first uh, thing you notice is it's not really symmetric. So one thing which is uh, better here will be, and I switch to the left um, window here. Extend, I'm using extend to really fine tune this. And you see I can make it much more symmetric here. Um, and it should be longer here. Oh, sorry. Yeah, maybe this shape is good. And of course, oops, of course we have to compare to our, to our scan. So again, I highlight this so you see better. This is my scan I have to fit and this is my shape. And of course the second issue we have here is that the acceleration is not really good. So again I use my extend and draw this back. Maybe I use both at the same time. And we will drop drag this a little bit back, maybe more than you would expect. And you see this tiny surface will, maybe it will fade away at the end, so I can uh, make it a bit longer. It's a kind of helper surface. And you see the acceleration here, like I said, is not good, so I use the blend curve scaling for this. And you see I can make this lead in a bit better here. And I will make it even more. 
And here's the, the point where you have to decide as a modeler if you want to fit the scan or make a perfect uh, curvature because um, sometimes not everything is possible. And maybe I go here a bit and make this a bit flatter. And I use move CV. Make this a bit like, yeah, if you can do this uh, with your main surface, then do it. I will not exaggerate here. Maybe a bit like this. Yeah, so don't worry if it doesn't fit perfectly for this. Um, you can do later. But uh, I want to note, or I want to put your uh, attention to this very much. Um, due to the history, that means that the blend curve really remembers, remembers uh, the both sides. You can really model both curves at the same time. Yeah, same here. And you see this is not fitting here. And I have to, if I want to stick to the scan, I have to put it a little bit like this. I'm not really happy, but sometimes it's a way. But please do keep in mind that this is still the very first steps you will fine-tune the surfaces a hundred times sometimes until it's perfect. So the overall shape is nice and uh, that's my first step. I created these four curves.